somebody stick something stupid in the microwave? You put tin foil in that microwave, did you? Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. I've got to water some plants this morning. We've all got to do our chores, can't you see? Um, yeah, yesterday I basically spent the whole day just burying corpses, which is not exactly how I wanted things to go. Hmm, and I'm a little hungry now. I had soda for dinner, I'll have soda for breakfast. There we go. That's how it goes sometimes. And, uh, go ahead and water all this. That should do nicely. Oh, there's one hidden over there. Hmm, don't want to miss that. And I can't uh, depend on the rain 100% to keep my shit watered, so I'm going to get these zucchinis. They're already flourishing. They're already young. Were I a hungrier man, I could uh, pick the small zucchinis off. But I'll let them, I'll let them mature, mature just a little bit more. And uh, I am walking on them just a little bit. I hope that's okay. Is that fine? It's verdant and well watered, yes. I keep them quite safe from the zombies. You're welcome, little zucchinis. Daddy loves you so much. There we go. A couple more. More than just a couple, but I just tell myself a couple more because that's how it goes, you know? You're like, I'm gonna do some sit-ups. Okay, just a couple more. And then you do five more and you're like, eh. <laughs> That's more than a couple. It's fine. <laughs> oh, these don't need watering? Why not? Well watered. Okay. I guess uh, I should not overwater them. Hmm, and there's very little water remaining in this, so I should probably refill it. I've got some, some water containers over here. I think it would be quite useful. Fill up my watering can. There we go. Fill it up with a lot. Huh. That's how we do. And there. Chore is done. Not, uh, not so terrible. I did hear a little bit of rustling in the bushes, and I hope that that was me and not a zombie. Because I left my shovel at the other base, damn it. Oh, God. More cola. Alright, just drink it. Just drink it all. Now we got an empty bottle. Did I hear a zombie over here? Hello? I guess not. I could make a grave, dig a few, uh, bury a few more zombies today, because, uh, they're starting to stack up around this fishing base. But, that's, uh, a story for another time, I do suppose. I want to check out that burnt house. The house that I threw a Molotov into. And, uh, see if we can't get upstairs, see if the fire was able to reach the ceiling and uh, hit the next floor, or if the next floor is just completely fine, and yeah, who knows? Who knows what could have happened? The door was certainly burnt off. The table was burned up. I'm so glad that this fucking survived. Good. It didn't burn the fridge. It did burn the stove, but uh, I think all I had in there was a, a rotten ass burger or something that I tried to use to light the uh, house on fire before. Oh yeah. It definitely did uh, climb just a little bit. Oh god. Alright, are we fine? I'm so scared. Alright, she's lost interest. I'll take care of her friend. How did these zombies come this way? How did you come to be here, zombie? I don't understand much. That's the truth. I don't understand much at all. How many keys we got? 23? God damn. Been doing it big. Been doing it big for so long. I could actually sleep in this burnt out shithole of a house. That's quite interesting to me. Some carrot seeds. Wow, look at all these canned goods. Holy shit. Alright. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna empty out all of this into the uh, doctor bag, and I will fill fill my big bag with all of this canned shit. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! 
my heart pumping so fast. Oh god! What the fuck? Jesus Christ! Oh, this is bad. They're banging on the door. Um... There's a sheet. Let's make a sheet rope. Clear this broken glass. Um... Okay, open curtains. Can I hang a sheet rope out the window? Please? Oh god. I'm gonna have to fight that bitch, aren't I? Ugh. Well, let's take what we can as far as the cans. And hopefully she's not gonna break that door down. Seems like a pretty sturdy door. Uh, I, I, I think it's gonna be fine. At least long enough for me to do all this. We got corn, chili, carrots, beans, mushroom soup, peas, sardines, potatoes. Who cans potatoes? What the fuck is that? Potatoes are good. You just, you just, you can leave them in a fucking cupboard forever. And guess what? Guess what happens? They just create more potatoes. <laughs> That's not true. So we've got cereal, chips, dog food. Can I fit this? Mm, it's too heavy. It's way too heavy. Um, where's my nails? I just need one hammer, one nail, and I can do this sheet rope thing. Uh, drop one. Okay. Hmm. Carpentry. Can't do much of that. I could make a wooden cross. Oh, that would be so nice. Why am I not able to uh, put the sheet rope here? I don't much understand it. Well, I guess I ain't meant to understand it. That's fine. I'll fight this bitch. You think I'm scared? You think I'm fucking scared? i never been scared. Except that one time that I was. <laughs> That's a lot of chips. My goodness. Let me get some mac and cheese. Load myself up. There we go. Fairly heavy load. Movement speed is not compromised though, so I guess that's fine. Boom! Here's Dayton! She had a hearing aid? How'd she know I was in there? Huh? That's a mystery. There's a good amount of stuff here too that I want to take, but I cannot at the moment. That's okay. I'm pretty glad that the uh, fire didn't burn the stairs down, because there was quite a bit of good shit up there that I did not take for whatever reason, because I'm dumb, I guess. <laughs> oh, Lord. So we'll just pile up our supplies. Stockpile, stockpile. That's how we do it. Every day, out here in the woods, where we live. We actually don't live in the woods. There's a city quite close. It's within walking distance, you see. I might need some more pallets for this uh, project I have going on over here. Look at how cute that little helicopter is. Army man, he's shooting a monkey. I guess he's from, uh, what? Sudan? Something like that? I know Africans eat monkeys. They're like, bushmeat, it's good. And they're like, what about Ebola? There is no Ebola in bushmeat. Okay. You sound pretty sure, so I guess, I guess, whatever. I'm not gonna argue with, <laughs> argue about it with you. Enjoy your bush meat, sir. Thank you so much. Oh, this is a lot of shit. Not complaining that it's a lot of shit, but it is definitely a lot of shit. Could make some more fishing traps as well. Grab this twine. Grab this twine, grab some wire. Oh, that's, that's strawberry seeds. Okay. Oh, wait. Just wait. How's that? Did I grab all? Please tell me I grabbed all. And potatoes, and sardines, and some soup. And now it's raining. Oh my god. I hope my crops don't get overwatered. I think that's a thing that could happen. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. At least in real life. I don't know if it's uh, implemented in the game quite yet. Take a couple twine out of there. What else do we need? Carrot seeds can go in here. Uh, mystery seeds. All this I kind of need-ish. 
Hmm. Okay, good. We'll call that a day. I'm looking for wire and twine. How many twine do I need? Ten twine and five wire? Wow. I guess it's per unit because they do have like a little remaining tabulator on there. So let's make a fishing net. Oh my. Did it work? Yes, but I only made the one. Fart. It takes a bit more than I thought. That's okay. Hey, there's a shovel. I need a shovel. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's gonna be quite nice. Oh, I'm damp. Shit, I didn't put a roof on this building. I have to hide. I have to hide in the underbelly. Oh, I didn't put the cereal and chips up there. Fart. What's on these shelves? Plaster powder and whatnot. Axe, compass, molotov, smoke bomb. We'll put some snackies on this shelf. Hopefully the cockroaches don't get it. A little bit of cereal, a little bit of mac and cheese. TV dinner. Delicious. Um, wire, I guess, I guess I'll shove it here. That's fine. Do I have my rain poncho somewhere? There it is. I'll just wear this. Wear this and I can continue about my day. I ain't gonna be scared of no fucking rain. That's not how we do things around here. Let's make a grave. Um, I'll put it here. Just for the lulls. Oh, and it did dig up my, uh, my little planting bit. Didn't it? I can't really see it. I guess it did. That's fine. I got some more errands to run. Some more corpses to to bury. Extremely heavy load. Can't take much more. Movement compromise. Well, at least it doesn't say threatened back injury anymore. I guess uh, that's a blessing, isn't it? Very heavy load. Movement speed reduced. That's fine. I just need to do this a couple more times. And hopefully, uh, avoid back injury. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's okay. As long as my health doesn't start dropping every time I move. If my health starts dropping every time I move, then you know we have a back injury. And I'll basically have to just sit around for a few days. Try and recover my strength! Cause I'm old now, don't you see? I don't want these corpses to uh, be hanging around for too long. Like I said in the last episode, not sure how far the uh, distance is. The safe distance for corpses. What is that? A rock? I guess it's just a rock. Okay, that's fine. It's just a little damp, but that's okay. There's one more guy over here. I will grab you up. And deliver you thusly. Extremely heavy load. Extreme close up. Whoa! It wasn't that extreme. I should have gone like, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh god. You gotta entertain yourself somehow, that's for sure. Do I get XP for burying corpses? Hmm. I got XP for something. That's interesting. What do I need for the, uh... The what you call it? I want to make a cross. I want to give them a proper burial. Oh, my sweater's dirty. Damn. How'd my sweater get dirty? At least my skirt is still clean. <laughs> the best time to wear a striped sweater is all the time. Let's place this net trap. La bloop. La 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 loosh. And uh, where's my hammer? Not in there. Nothing's in there anymore. Need some nails. Mm. Just a few. Not that many. I guess eight. That's a good amount. I don't actually know how many. And then I need my hammer. 
Where is my hammer? There it is. I'm not getting too wet with my rain poncho on, so that's pretty nice. Cairn. What is this? You put a you put a corpse in there? I don't know what a cairn is. Is it uh, a wall? Is it a fancy term for a wall? I don't know. I'm stupid. Uh, we need two planks, two nails in order to get this thing all put together. Hmm. Let's unstack some of these logs then. That'll do. That'll do nicely. And I guess I picked up all those logs. Yeah. We don't need all of them. Just saw one. And I guess I can make a couple of uh, little crosses, right? Maybe we saw two. Give me one more. Yeah, four planks. That'll do nicely. Okay. So, one. Oh, take your time. Don't worry about that. <clears throat> the rain is picking up just a little bit. My poor stuffed animals. I need, like, an umbrella or something. A little tarp. Maybe I could make a tent for them to retire into. That would be quite nice, I do think. Here's a wooden cross. I'm gonna put it right there. Rest in peace, you dirty fuckers. <laughs> I know it's supposed to go with the head, but whatever. They don't deserve that much respect for me. They're disgusting. Disgusting creatures. They should feel lucky that I've even bothered to bury them, even though the only reason I bothered to bury them is for my own health. I'm concerned for myself, mostly, you see. Hmm, I got some fish. Gotta eat some of these before they go bad. I'll just hide in the house for a minute. Ah, just dry myself off a little bit. There's also probably a bath towel somewhere that I could use. Hmm, but then I have to keep it in my inventory in order to dry it. Quite a quandary. Too full to eat. That's fine. We'll read some first aid for beginners. This is a, a book that I've been enjoying recently. So, let me tell you about first aid. Or something related to first aid. Probably just another creepy pasta. <laughs> Here it is. This is a story called Red Water by the author Murder House. I was on a business trip about a year ago and I had to drive from Denver to LA. It was a long drive and I was growing tired of the road so I stopped by at the Holiday Inn Hotel that was nearby. I walked up to the desk and rung the bell. Just seconds later a man came out from the back room. Hello sir, my name is John Shelby, the man said. How can I assist you? Well, I'm looking for a room, I replied. Are there any available? He searched his computer to see if a room was available, and to my luck, there was one more room left. He gave me a key and told me to have a nice night. I asked him to point me towards the vending machine, and he did just that. When I walked to the vending machine, craving a bag of chips, I noticed a pool at the end of the hall. A lot of hotels have pools, there's nothing strange about that. What got me confused was the fact that the water was red. Blood red. I purchased my bag of chips and went back to the front desk where the man was still present. What's up with that pool back there? I asked him. What do you mean, sir? He asked, a confused look growing upon his face. The water's red. Why is it red? I said. He took off his glasses and took a deep breath. <sighs> well, it's kind of a freaky story, he said. Years ago, a woman was found brutally murdered in that pool and the water was contaminated with her blood. Are you telling me that her blood is still in there? No, no, of course not, he said. The water was removed and the pool was closed down, but many people say they still see the pool filled with red water. He put his glasses back on. Personally, I've never seen it, but I think this hotel likes to play tricks with your mind. So this place is haunted then? He shook his head, yes. I was shocked, not really scared, but just surprised because I'd never had an experience like this before. I went up to my room, took a well-needed hot shower, and lay in bed. I couldn't sleep for some reason. My mind was so curious. It had so many questions that needed to be answered. I got back out of bed, put a shirt on, and walked down the hallway. I walked down the hall and headed towards the pool. It was quiet out in the halls. I guess nobody else had trouble sleeping. 
I was laughing at myself when I realized I was in my underwear, so it was a good thing nobody was out in the halls at that time. I did believe that I saw a woman cross from one room to the other. I didn't think anything of it. I figured it was just another guest. When I reached the floor of the pool, I was able to see the blood-red water, even from way down the hall. I passed the front desk. Nobody was there. I then passed the vending machine and stopped directly in front of the door that would lead to the pool. I tried the door, but it was locked. I don't think I would have gone in, even if it wasn't. Anyways, I looked through the large window that showed the blood-contaminated pool, and it looked as if the pool had been closed for quite a long time. I looked behind me down the hall to the elevator, and briefly imagined a scene from The Shining when the stream of blood came shooting out of the elevator. I had a feeling that I would see something similar to that, but I didn't. Instead, I saw a woman standing at the edge of the pool, looking as if she was about ready to jump in. She was completely nude, not a single piece of clothing on her body. When she snapped her head my way, I jumped back in fear and I walked back to my room as fast as I could, taking the stairs next to the vending machine instead of the elevator. Hours later, I woke up to my alarm going off. I took a shower, threw on some clothes, and walked down to the first floor for breakfast. After breakfast, I was ready to check out and get back on the road. I decided to take one last look at that pool before I left. I walked slowly past the front desk, past the vending machines, and to the pool. I was still freaked out by what had happened the night before as I looked through the window. I was surprised to see that the pool was quite empty. There was no red water, and there was certainly no woman. I walked back to the front desk where a different woman was working. Is John Shelby available? I asked. She gave me a confused look. Excuse me? she said. John Shelby, I repeated. He was working here last night. John Shelby died back in 1982, she said. He killed himself after murdering a woman right there in that pool. Is this a joke, sir? she inquired. Yeah, I said, forcing out a laugh. <laughs> it, it was just a joke. I returned my key and I left the building. I got back on the road, but I never forgot about what happened that night in that hotel. Quite an interesting one. Not necessarily first aid related, aside from the blood, but I'll take it. <laughs> ah, most lovely. <laughs> and I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Do, 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 do. I can see all obstacles in my way. Do, 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 do. Oh my, what a day we've had. Haven't gone too far, we did just a few chores. I guess that's the important thing. Got a little reading done. Mmm, we don't like that. I shouldn't go much further, but uh, I want to finish checking out that house. That burnt out piece of shit of mine. Well, I guess I'm the one that made it a burnt out piece of shit. So I can't speak too harshly of it. I need to be careful, because there's no more doors to keep zombies out. Did this room burn? Oh yeah, burned up pretty good, didn't it? It's interesting to me how just like a few pieces of the floor kind of stayed. Hmm, fascinating. Got an axe and a battery. I take these things. Nails. Hmm, I need to look up how to make a tent. That's something on my to-do list. Watering can, don't care. Pink paint, hmm, don't think so. Alarm clock. That might be fun to attract some zombies. Attract a few zombies. And here we are, back in the bathroom, where my life was almost taken. And all there is is some dog food. I guess you could eat the dog food. Um, I'm not partial to it, though. <laughs> I don't know what it tastes like. I do know that they probably don't, uh, treat the meat as well as they should. There's probably a lot of bones and shit in there. What is that? What is that? I hear something. So 
pump that's moving around in there. I guess it's a TV or something? That's quite loud. Where is it? Where is it coming from? Turn on the microwave. Somebody stick something stupid in the microwave. You put tin foil in that microwave, did ya? Maybe it's this TV. Nope, TV's off. It's a poltergeist, man. There's a fucking poltergeist in this house. Somebody knocking on the door over there. Oh god. It's so creepy. I run. I don't know what the fuck that was, but it's sending shivers up my spine for some reason. It's a relatively normal sound, isn't it? I guess. Jesus Christ. I don't understand anything anymore. Oops, look at this twine. Need more twine, need more wire. Need to replace my fishing nets, among other things. Pretty sure I've already looked through these garages, but let's have another look just in case. Just in casey case. Casey case them. <laughs> Some wire, nails, rope, thread. Don't really need any of this necessarily. Make another fishing net. There we go. Takes a lot of twine to make that fucking fishing net. Dang. Two full rolls. Oh well. It is what it is, I suppose. Gotta keep our eye out for that. Twine, not as important as, uh, wire. Or wire, not as important as twine. That's what I mean. Duly noted. I shall mark that down in my memory banks. Some more twine and wire. Just trying to replace some of what I've lost thus far. Hmm, fishing tackle, hammer. Getting a little hungry. No, oh, open window, please. There you go. Should check out this house. See if I can get some eats. There's nothing in this house. I think this is where I found the the needle, isn't it? Crafted trigger, crafted timer. My goodness, were my electric, electronic skill a little bit better? Jeez. I don't know much. <clears throat> what I do know is that I don't know much. <laughs> hmm. Crafted timer. Place on improvised devices and set countdown. Requires known recipe and electrical skill. But I don't have any crafted devices. Can't you see? I have nothing! Well, here's some eats. It's really what I came in here for. Alright, MRE! That meal was ready to eat, and now I'm ready to beat! My meat! <laughs> Not really. That comes later. That comes when little Dayton goes to bed. He's like, okay. It's night time. How can I get myself to sleep? Oh yeah, ejaculate. <laughs> That's pretty simple. Hmm. Some banging going on in there. How did this house get so ugly? Oh, it, it was all boarded up. They sealed people in there. And zombies came out. Damn. I wonder what screws are for. Oh, I got a screw loose. Should I unbarricade it? I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, they're so scary. So many houses filled with doom. But then again, those uh, sealed up houses generally have some pretty good shit in them. I think that uh, house that I burned down was originally a sealed house. Maybe I should just throw a Molotov. Unbarricade it enough to throw a fucking Molotov in there. See how they like that shit. 
Hmm. I don't have my Molotovs with me. Unfortunately. Let's open this. I'll do it. Think I'm scared? I ain't scared. I've never been scared. Just open the window. Hey, everybody. Come on out here. It's party time. Boom. Boom. Oh, God. Fuck. Did I get bit? Jesus Christ. Still okay. Oh, boy. I got my blood pumping. I tell you what. There's so many in here. You come back. I'll come back with a fucking Molotov. You guys, don't go anywhere. I did unbarricade that one window. Maybe I should seal it back up. I know I'm not going to remember in time. There we go. You guys stay in there. Can I close the curtains from the outside? No. <laughs> he was trying to walk into the zombie den. What the fuck are you doing? Do not. Do not. Alright. Hopefully I'll remember at some point. We can have another little bonfire. Everybody like a little bonfire, don't they? Don't they? Alright. I think it's about time for bed. Getting a little bit drowsy. Did all my chores for the day. Nobody can talk mean to me now. I don't have to mow the lawn or weed whack things anymore. I think that's pretty nice. Thank goodness. And this is the way up, isn't it? Pretty sure. It's getting a little dark. I'm gonna have to look up some uh, recipes and things. I really do want to make some crafted explosives aside from my Molotovs. Hmm, curious. It's on the docket. At least, you know, maybe I'll remember. Probably not, though. <laughs> uh, should I put on my dirty sweater? God damn, I don't like that. I'm gonna have to find a clean sweater. Or maybe I'll just go shirtless. Oh, my poncho's also dirty. How is it dirty? It's a fucking piece of plastic. God damn it. Whatever. Anyways, friends, I'll probably be up pretty early tomorrow, and uh, we can get some more adventuring done. This has been Project Zomboid, friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. Uh, I think we're going to have a bonfire in the next one with that sealed up house, and I hope you guys are looking forward to it as I am. And, um, yeah. Hopefully none of the cabinets and things with uh, cool stuff in it gets burned up, but there's going to be a lot of zombies on fire wandering around, so who knows what's going to happen. We'll just throw caution to the wind. I mean, I don't really need more perishable goods. I'm pretty stocked up in here as it is, but uh, yeah, I think it's worth the sacrifice, in my opinion. If you guys think differently, do let me know. I'll probably do it anyways, though. <laughs> Anyways, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. It feels so good to uh, to get the comments and the likes and, you know, see people interested in what I'm doing with the channel. So I appreciate each and every one of you, especially if you've watched this far. Once again, don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. Once again, this has been Project Zomboid and I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. And once again, I will see you in the next one, friends. Until then, bye bye one, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.